hey guys happiness here welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to look at main menus and the food menu i am going to tell you what they are what they should include and how you can edit them to fit your business so main menu are a group of different clickable links that helps your customer to navigate your store easily and find what they are looking for. And each of these clickable links, they are called main menus. So basically a main menu, so with main menu, you will find it on top of your store and the footer menu, you will find it at the bottom of your store. And this will depend with what kind of theme you are using. Some of the theme you'll find your main menu on your side um, of your store. So if you want to know how to create your footer menu and main menu or how to edit them or what to include on your footer menu and the main menu, make sure you stay around until the end of this video so you can know how to do that. And before I jump into this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorial like this and leave me a comment down below to let me know what do you think about today's tutorial and without further ado let's jump in today's video so i am going to show you a demo for urban outfitter store uh, i'm going to show you their main menu and so this is their website so basically menus are a group of clickable links that helps customer navigate through your stores and the main menu basically consists of different pages and collection and you can find your main menu up here so as you can see on the urban outfitters uh, this is their main menu they have women's men's home lifestyle beauty and sell so that is the main menu and all of them they are clickable links um so for example if you click here on the women's um, the website will take you straight to the women's section so they are all the clickable links like all of them so most of the store they have main menu at the top up here but some of them they have their menus on their left hand side on this side here so instead of having a main menu here they have a main menu on this side here so placement and style of your main menu is determined by your store theme so before you decide on a theme of like what kind of theme you want to use for your store um make sure that the themes that you picked is gonna be great or it's gonna work for your business so that's the main menu there is also a photo menu which is located uh down on your store here so again this is urban art features website and the footer menu is here so footer menu is located down here and you can find different things like uh really good information like shipping or return and exchange uh the payments frequent asked question the contact as um even careers so many things you can find on the footer menu so let's go back to shopify admin page and i am going to show you how to um create your main menu so i'm going to show you how to create your main menu like this um for example here let me view my online store so this is my coffee shop store and by default when you start customizing your shopify store uh by default shopify will give you like a home a catalog and contact as your main menu section and on the footer menu there is only one which is search so i am going to show you how you can add different menu items just like how alban outfitters did here so basically my shop is about coffee um, essentials so i am going to customize my store through that but all these steps that i'm going to show you you can use to all kind of themes or kind of store that you're running so let's go to our shopify admin page and click online store and then go to navigation so once you get here on navigation, you'll see you have two different menus. There is a footer menu and main menu. So I am going to start showing you how you can customize your main menu and then I'll do the footer. But all the steps that we are going to do on customizing your main menu, you can do the same thing with the footer menu. So let's click main menu. So this is the main menu page. And if you're just getting started with menus, um, then your main menu will already have two default main menus. 
uh, I mean three default, <laughs> then your main menu will already have three different um, default menu items. So the first is titled as home and this links to your store homepage. And the second is titled as catalog. So when you click catalogs, you, um, you go to a page that lists all your products. Uh, let's view my store here. So this is the home. So it will only show what my homepage looks like. And on my catalog, it will show only what um, my products uh, looking like like all the products that are available in my store so to add a new menu item click add main menu here so click add menu items and type in the name of your menu item that you want so i'm going to start by typing cups after you name your menu items click the link text field here and select the pre-existing page or collection that you want the menu item to be linked to so if you don't have any pages or collection created yet then click down below on the then click out the link in the description for the videos on those topics um, I showed I showed you guys how to create different collection on your Shopify so so check that out so you can know how to do that um, so I'm going to click collection and I'm going to add my cups. I'm going to add the link of all cups. So I'm going to put coffee cups. Okay. And then I'm going to click add. So now my first menu has been added. I'm going to add another menu. Uh, I'm going to call this a spoon. And then I'm going to click collection and I am going to put all my coffee spoons and click add. So you can add as many menu items as you want. So I'm going to add another one. Uh, I'm going to type coffee holder and then collection and coffee holders. So this is how you can do. You can add as many um, as many items as you want now let's click save after adding all our main menu items that we want and let's go back here and refresh our store and see if uh, our main menu has been added already so we are going to expect our main menu to appear up here so now you can see here our main menu item has been added so so far we have cups spoons and coffee holder and when you click this menu that you added they'll take you straight to the cup section spoon section and coffee holder so let me click cups and you can see here i have all my cups um spoon that is my spoon collection and coffee holder that is my coffee holder collection it is also possible to create subcategories in your menus using um, drop down menu items just like on the Alban Outfitters. They have like different main menu. They have women's, men's home, but they have a drop down menu. So on the women's section, they have all different categories like dresses, rompers, tops, coats, etc. Same goes to the main menu of men's section. It has uh, different drop down menus. Um, all their tops, jeans, vintage, uh, active wear, etc., lifestyle, and things like that. So, if you want to know how to create those drop down menus on your main menu, um, watch the next video in this series to learn how to create those drop down menus. Now, let's go back to our Shopify admin page. Um, you can also edit items that are already existing in your main menu. So for example, let's edit um, the catalog. To do that, let's click edit. And we can edit the name of our catalog and we can type all products. And then after, put, after editing your menu, click apply changes. And don't forget to click save so we can save the items. Now let's refresh our page and see now instead of having catalog we have all products and if we click that we can see all our products that we have in our store you can also change the order of your menu items by um, clicking these six dots here and you can drag the menu item so let's say 
uh how this is how it's appeared right now like we have home all products contact cup spoon um coffee holder so we can click this six dots here and drag the contact all the way down and we can put um uh, let's say we, we should drag like coffee holder up there cups and then spoons and click save let's go back to our store and refresh the page now you can see here our main menu has been updated the contact has been moved all the way to the end we have coffee holder cups and spoon so that is how you can create these different main menus on your Shopify store. So let's talk about footer menu. So creating your footer menu, the process will be the same. So the only thing you have to do is just go back and let's click footer menu. So the footer menu also has um, a default menu called search and it links to the search bar for your store. So this is the search menu here when you click that and it will take you on the search page and you can do your searching there and find results. So to do that, you're going to do the same step that I showed you when we were adding different pages for, um, for the main menu. So you will do that by clicking add menu items. And here you can start creating a page like contact us. And then you can link your page here. So now you're going to link a page. So you will click pages here and click contact and click add. Okay. And then click save. So let's view how our footer menu is going to look like. So far, we have only search. We don't have contact as we just added contact as. So to do that, let's refresh up. And here we are. We have our contact as on the footer menu. So if we click contact as, it will take us straight to the contact as page where your customer will put their name, their email address, phone number, and type the message they want you to know about their issue or their questions and then click send. So that is how you can customize your footer menu section. And in here you can add different menus, um, like maybe like about us, etc. So like about us. So these are like pages, oops. So like about us and you can click on the link here and click the page. And if you have created pages, your pages will all appear here. Now on this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to create different pages. I will, sh I will leave the link down below on the description where I have another tutorial that I showed you how you can customize your footer menu in detail and create different, uh, and create different pages that you can link them on your footer menu. Okay. So that's it guys for today's tutorial. And if you like this video, leave me a big, big thumbs up, subscribe on my channel for more tutorial like this and leave me a comment down below and let me know what, you, what do you think about today's tutorial? Or if you have any question, let me know down below on the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next.